ikaw ba ay merong GERD o heartburn? Ginigising ka ba in the middle of the night sa sobrang sakit kapag umaakyat yung acid papuntang esophagus and papuntang lalamunan? Minsan ba ikaw ay namamaos na? Kahit gaano katagal nang umiinom ng gamot, 1 week, 2 weeks, 3 weeks, 3 months, yung iba nga halos maintenance na, but hindi pa rin gumagaling, alam nyo ba na minsan kahit iniiwasan nyo na yung usual na maaasim o di kaya maanghang, hindi ito sapat. Kasi sa practice natin, nakita natin na mas mainam pala iwasan yung mga pagkaing nakakakos ng inflammation. Ito yung mga pagkaing hindi man maasim o maanghang, pero sila yung nakakatrigger ng inflammation sa loob. So, try to look at your food intake. If mayaman ito sa mga matatamis and of course, carbohydrates, baka ito yung kailangan mong iwasan. Mostly categorized as high-carb food. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, ang hashtag JGC Rojo Food List, pwede nyong tingnan yan and try to look at the safe list at mag-focus muna sa safe list na yon. Because aside from the food that are considered as high carbs, meron ding mga food na hindi high carb pero nakakapag-inflame. Tulad ng mga seed oils, margarine, shortening, at most fats na kapag naiproseso na at hindi na natural, tulot na rin ng inflammation sa katawan. At meron pa pong isa, minsan yung food timing natin. So try to eat 4 to 6 hours before bedtime. And yung fluid intake naman, try to take it 2 to 4 hours before kayo matulog sa gabi o humiga. Kailangan empty yung stomach natin before we sleep kung gusto natin na mas maganda yung ating pagtulog at hindi tayo atakihin ng ating heartburn while we are sleeping. And lastly, kung hindi pa rin ito nakuha, kahit tama na yung inyong pagkain, kahit tama na ng oras ng pagkain at pag ng tubig, at meron pa din, try to look at your stress level. Kasi minsan, yung GERD and anxiety, yung GERD and stress, they go together. At ayaw nating mapahama kayo. Para silang chicken and egg, kung sinong nauna, hindi natin alam. And sometimes, that can also happen in GERD. GERD and anxiety, they also go together. When it comes to management of GERD, it's not enough na magdepend lang tayo sa gamot o di kaya mga antacids. Yes, they can help temporarily. Nakakatulong sila, especially in case of emergency but for sustainability and real healing we have to address the root cause we can break it down into three categories quality of food timing of food intake and most important part anxiety level reduce your anxiety correct your food intake and correct your food timing and you will see GERD healing naturally. Kung gusto nyo po ng gabay, we have a program for that. And if you want to just be inspired with the right food, meron po tayong group, Life Without Rice in Facebook, and also Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community if you wish to know more. Welcome na welcome po kayo dun. Remember to always stay low carb so that we all stay safe.